I was invited to my twin sister's surprise party as a guest, and I don't know if I want to go. I am not the oop. Oop is you, confident cookie 241. Originally posted to our advice. I was invited to my twin sister's surprise party as a guest. And I don't know if I want to go. Trigger warnings. Exclusion. Less than. Original post January 20th, 2024. I am F17 and have an identical twin sister. We are quite different when it comes to personality. She is more extroverted. Always had many friends from various groups. While I am more introverted. Have always been geekier. And prefer a smaller, closer circle of friends. We don't share many common friends. Except for a few from our childhood at a different school. Our birthday is next Saturday. And yesterday, one of my sister's friends sent me a message inviting me to my sister's surprise party. I was confused because obviously, we share the same birthday. So I asked if I could also celebrate mine there, inviting a few of my friends as well. She replied that the party would be held in the party hall of her building. And it wasn't possible to invite everyone, but I could bring two of my friends. She later messaged saying they would only buy one cake, but I could bring my own and have a separate birthday song after my sister's. Today, she added me to the party's WhatsApp group, which already includes 47 people, myself included. Even though we're very different, my sister and I have a great relationship and have always dreamed of celebrating our 18th birthday. Together, we had plans to go out with our childhood friends to a bar in the evening and drink a lot. Today, I found out that our childhood friends are also in the party group. And I messaged them about our plans. They said they liked the idea of the surprise party. Thought my sister would love it. And are trying to get me excited about it too. The issue is. I'm not keen on the party idea. It's going to be crowded. And I won't be able to spend time with my sister the way I wanted. I might come off as spoiled. But I feel like an afterthought. And this is not how I want to spend my birthday. I'd prefer to spend it with my own group of friends. But I also know that my sister would be very disappointed if I didn't attend the party. I don't want to spoil the surprise for her. So I don't want to tell her what's happening. I'm at a loss about what to do. I spoke to my parents. But their advice didn't help. I just don't know what to do. Relevant comments. Alyssa2579 This is BS. Don't go and enjoy the time with your friends. Get screenshots of the shifty messages for when your sister is upset you didn't go her friends. Will most likely lie about it. I'm surprised you and your sister haven't spoken already about birthday plans. Is there a reason? Oop we've already made plans to go to a bar with our childhood friends. My sister believes she's spending the afternoon with her friend who's planning the party then coming home to prepare for the bar. However, her friend plans to accidentally leave the birthday gift behind. So they'll need to swing by her place for her to give it to my sister, and then... Surprise! Girls 4 Super what about all the people waiting at the bar? Or are they all in on it and the bar is a lie entirely? Edit to add I'm also a twin and would be so so hurt if everyone wanted to celebrate my twin and not me. It's rude, degrading, and just plain mean. They could surprise her on a different day if they're mostly her friends and not yours. Oop the friends planning the party are not my friends. They invited out childhood friends since they know they are friends with my sister. Our childhood friends like the idea of the surprise party and are trying to hype me up to go to. The bar was a concrete plan until her friend planned the surprise party. It's just, with the bar we would be among friends we both like and would be celebrated equally. At the party it's going to be 90% my sister's friends. I will still have my childhood friends and the two friends that they let me invite. I might sound very spoiled and immature but I feel like I would be an afterthought and, forgot, at the party. It just feels very weird to me.
and NBSP. Update January 22, 2024. Original post. So Saturday. I was feeling anxious by the birthday plans. And I was crying in the kitchen. My mom noticed and came over to comfort me. When I told her I was upset about the party. She decided to tell me the truth. The party was actually a surprise for me as well. And all my friends were invited too. Yesterday I called Melissa, the friend organizing the party. And she confirmed what my mom had said. Melissa explained that she wanted to spend my sister's birthday with her. Especially since she might be moving away for college soon. She knew we had plans to celebrate our birthday with each other and our childhood friends. Who are our only mutual friends. So, she had the idea to arrange a surprise party with everyone. Including my friends. She told this idea to our childhood friends. My friends. And my parents. And they all approved. Melissa had already figured out how to get my sister to the party. She's going to spend the afternoon with her and pretend she left her gift at home. But she struggled to find a way to bring me there without spoiling the surprise. Since we are not friends. Her solution was to make it seem like the party was only for my sister. Limiting me to bringing just two friends. Who would actually be in on the plan. It all made sense now. Especially why our childhood friends hyping me up to go to the party. She told me she didn't think things through and didn't realize how hurt I would be by this situation. She apologized for it. She thought it would be a nice surprise and she didn't want me to suspect the party was for me too. I must admit, it wasn't how I envisioned spending my 18th birthday. But I've warmed up to the idea. I'm exited now, an NBSP. Hash this is a repost sub, I am not oop. Hash editor's note. Please remember the no brigading rule. Do not harass oops. Do not comment on the posts linked in Boris. This is a very serious problem on the BORU sub. Doing so will result into a permanent ban from this sub and the other link sub. S. Again. Please do not harass oops. I've read a similar story where the was a surprise party for only one twin. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash updates slash comments slash 13 cffjs slash wibda for not attending my twin brothers s or prize so people can't be that disgusting it's a relief that it was well intentioned but wow this is a nice example of why lying when you really don't need to is such a dumb thing but also what was up with the sister's friend going so far with this? Like inviting her to a party planning group chat with almost 50 other people. Most of whom op didn't know. And saying stuff like, we'll only be having one cake so you can bring your own. It just seems so unnecessary. There's a thousand better ways to plan a party without making one of the guests of honor think the party is for the other person entirely. In hindsight I feel like it is obvious it was going to be a party for both of them but I totally did not see it coming and let myself get all riled up lol. Why did Melissa add her to the WhatsApp group then? And why were none of her friends on it if they were also invited? Terrible execution on Melissa's part. Zero tenths. I dk why people are still shocked that, surprising, someone by making them think you forgot about them first, doesn't make for happy memories. This reminds me of an old post where it was twin brothers and one brother's friends were having a surprise party and either didn't invite the other twin or did it weird and he was trying to figure out what to do about it. Don't remember what the update was. I maintain surprises suck unless you are very careful in how you set them up. Like inviting someone for dinner and then, surprise, it's a dinner with all your friends you didn't even know were in town or let's go for a concert and, surprise, 
Here's passes for a meet and greet. Notice how neither of those require a complicated lie. It's the truth with something positive that's hidden until the time comes. I've been the person who thought all her friends were sick of her because they started going places. Without me even though we'd agreed to go together. Found out later they were picking things up for me and also wanted to throw me off the scent by acting uninterested. My roommate found me crying and went and told them to hurry up and do the surprise already because it was hurting me, not making me happy. It's just silly to prioritize secrecy and misdirection over actually making someone happy. While I get the fun of a surprise party, this is kind of textbook how not to do it. Ugh. I'm convinced very few people actually like being surprised. People like planning surprises. I once had a surprise party given for me and I spent the whole day thinking everyone forgot my birthday and being lonely until surprise. But it didn't negate my experience of the day of my birthday. If it was me and I only found out at the party that it was also for me, I would have still been pretty bummed and would probably have made things awkward. I couldn't just turn off something I've been feeling for days, weeks. Especially the feeling of being left out. One of the worst emotions to feel in my opinion. Perhaps the mom sensed off might have reacted similarly if she hadn't been let in on the secret. W mom. I'm glad for op. Dot, but what a dumb plan by Melissa. That many people involved and none of them saw that backfiring and or could come up with a better idea? Ah, oh, teenagers. If I'm being honest, it still kind grosses me out that Melissa thought it would be a good idea to make her think the party was only for her twin. There was definitely a better way to do that. Having serious deja vu, there's another post with a plot just like this. That's a mind f c k. I'm a twin, and I can't imagine my parents and friends thinking this is a good idea. They couldn't have come up with an excuse, we gotta go help your sister. The car broke down, among them to get her to the venue? Ridiculous. To find out it was the plan to make her think she was neglected by all her loved ones on her birthday is no better than actually being neglected by them. No surprise is worth that. Her solution was to make it seem like the party was only for my sister. Limiting me to bringing just two friends. Okay, but why, though? Surely there could have been a better lie to make up that would not have created so much awkward tension. Have one of her friends there who's in on it and concoct a scenario where they all go to the other friend's place for the gift she forgot so they could all go to the bar together. Literally thought of that on the spot and it's a better lie than whatever the hell idea they actually went with. So it's only a surprise party for one of them? That feels mean still. Melissa isn't the brightest, is she? Can we just as a society agree that surprise parties just aren't a great idea? If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.